Worried that your gear's holding you back when you go to FPV races? Want the best of the best or, you know, can you get away with budget stuff? Well, stay tuned because we're going to be taking these two bad boys out. One's got the base gear, one is fully decked out and uploaded and we'll find out, does your gear really matter or is it all about pilot skill? G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, we're going to be doing the part two review of these two bad boys right here. This is the F200, the awesome, well, it's branded awesome, the F200. Now, if you haven't seen part one, definitely go and check that review up here. I'll leave a little card. It should flash on the screen or something like that. But in today's video, this is where it counts. This is where we get to take it out to the field and rip it around. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be putting up the question, you know, does your gear really matter or is it all about pilot skills? So we're going to be handing this one over to going to be giving this one over to Grumpy Trev. He's going to be ripping around. This one is the fully decked out pro version. It's got amazing motors, upgrading FPV camera, and I'm going to be flying with the base version that I've got right here. So this one's about 150 bucks. This one is about $220. I'll link everything down below, but you know, we're going to find out. Am I going to be able to beat Grumpy Trev, even though he's got a far superior drone? Now, a little shout out to my Patreon supporters. You know, they've been with me every single step of the way, and I couldn't make the content on my channel. I couldn't do what I do without their fantastic support. So even though this one's going over to Grumpy Trev, we're going to be giving this one away to one of my Patreon supporters. If you're interested in joining that, definitely check the description down below because there'll be a link to that. Anyway, enough rambling here in the studio. Let's take it out to the field, rip it around. We'll see how they go. We'll film Grumpy Trev, you know, see what he thinks. We'll hit him with Speed Gun Sally, and then most importantly, we're going have a race and find out do you need the best of the best gear or can you get away with the budget one and just some pilot skills anyway let's cut out to the field and rip it around in three two one rightio so we're going to get out we're going to do this one a little bit differently let's cut out to the good stuff let's have a race straight away and then we'll talk about some flight comparisons so what we're going to do i've got the budget version or the standard version trev's got the upgrade version so we're going to see is it a pro pilot or a pro quad that makes a winner in the race so we're going to have a little race around first to three laps and we'll see who wins all right, who's going to win, Trev? You think you're going to beat me with that? Not a problem. <laughs> okay, Stu's black GoPro and Trev is white GoPro. That's the best we have both pink props to make it really easy. Thanks, guys. Uh, who's going to arm your quad, Trev? All right, Cal, give us a go. All right. Oh, Trev is starting. Three, with... two, one, go! <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> my goodness. We're just going to do a take two because uh, I crashed and then, I don't know, Trev was probably cheating, so let's... Does, okay, oh, round one. Yeah, Trev won the first one. Okay, Trevor won the first one. Now we're going to have a first to three laps. That's what it is. All right, let's do it. Are you ready, Trev? Yeah. All right, it's going to be a ready, set, go, okay? Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Set. Go. I... <laughs> oh, white GoPro. Look, Trev was in the lead. Tell Stewie's taken it. I've got disorientation. Stewie's lost. Oh, there goes Trev, and he's, he's stuck. All right, All right Stewie's taking the lead. One lap down. Turtle mode, Trev, turtle mode. All right, this is take three because uh, we've had some other problems, video issues, a few crashes. So uh, take three, this is the actual race. Three laps, my sky versus free sky. Yeah. Well, that's true. Where's my radio? Trev is hitting my radio, I know he has. Everyone's armed and ready yep. to go. All right. You can't count us down, Cal. All right. On your marks, get ready, set, go! <laughs> Cheating Trev, gets off the mark. Dewey can't catch him at this stage. Straight down the straights. Oh, they're getting closer, here we go. Oh, Trev's still got him. Bit of confusion there. Trev's still got him. Miss the gate. Miss the gate. Oh, come on, there's got to be a penalty there. Oh, Stewie's got him. Trev's gone. Incommunicado. Barreling down the straight. Oh, that was a nasty one. Serves down for the count. It's just all stews now. Alrighty, so those are funny shenanigans to the side. Let's talk a little bit more about the flight characteristics. So this is the standard version that I'm racing, trying to keep up with Tre Trevor, and he's got the pro version. And the pro version was a lot better. The upgraded version, it definitely did fly a lot better. It had much better motors and a much better FPV camera. And that made a huge difference in this when I was trying to fly this around. So number, there was, there's a couple of things about this. I don't really like the frame. I feel like it's too flexy. But we've covered that in the past. I am worried about its durability. The motors on this thing were terrible. Like they, I felt like I was gunning this thing and it just wasn't going anywhere. So it was super slow and uh, it just it just didn't have any poke whatsoever it was very very lackluster it was combined with some terrible props as well i'm definitely not a fan of those fishman props and probably my least favorite thing about this one 
the FPV camera on this bad boy, the lens on it was so small you could hardly see anything whatsoever, so you had no peripheral vision. Whereas on the run cams and stuff you can actually see what's to the side and what's coming up. This bad boy, the field of view was so small it made flying very, very difficult. Now I think Trevor has a little crash here. There he goes, the, uh, the cheater who tries to blame that on me, so I'll have to show him a replay. But look, I think when it comes down to pilot skills and what really matters, I think, uh, you know, and versus the gear, I'm going to say that it's, it is a combination of both. So I only just probably beat Trevor here because he crashed. But this was me flying at my absolute, this is me putting all my skills and going as hard as I can. And on this quad, look, it, it just wasn't enough. Now that question I posed at the start, you know, is it pilot skills or is it your gear that wins the race? Most of the time, I'm going to say it's pilot skills, like 80% pilot skills. And if you've got, if you're a great pilot, even with an average quad, you're going to do pretty well. The problem in this case is this quad was less than average. So it's, look, it is really cheap. 150 bucks is ridiculously cheap. This is it at full stick, sort of. It's not covering very much ground whatsoever. It was very difficult to fly. So even a great pilot with sub subpar uh, gear, though, isn't going to do very well. I'm not saying I'm a great pilot, but I'm just saying this quad was very, very difficult to fly. And I do think pilot skills account for most of the race. But if you've got a rubbish quad like this one, you're not going to do very well. Now what we're going to do, we're going to hand it over to Grumpy Trev and he's going to talk us through, I guess, his upgraded version because that is a much better quad. It's a, it's got a much better motor, much better FPV camera, same props and the same frame, but yeah, so he's going to talk us through that. And I did fly that one around and it, that one is a much better machine and I think that's much better value even though it's more expensive than this, this cheap one. I'm, I'm going to say stay away from the, the base version of the F200, but let's hand it over to Grumpy Trev and see what he thinks about uh, his upgraded version. <laughs> Radio, what happened, old man? You hit me. I didn't even touch you! I saw you stack that. I'm gonna replay the footage right here. Look at this gate. Going really well until uh, and my ambitions got mixed up with my ability. Yep. Yeah, it's fast. I actually had him for there for a while, so... Uh... What about that frame? So I guess, if going back to more of a review style, what do you think about the, the upgraded version? Well, it's it was pretty quick. I mean, uh, any time I can stay in front of you for a couple of laps, that's got to be a quick quad. What do you think is more important, budget gear? Like, what wins, gear or pilot skills? Well, definitely skills, for sure. Well, you proved that. Oh, it's actually key. Well, I was in front. One well, I was in front for a while. Yeah. So, you know, it was pretty good. I was pretty happy with that. Even with your cheating takeoff, but we won't go into yeah, details. Yeah, that doesn't matter. It's, uh, <laughs> so, is there, is there anything about that frame that you don't like, or for the money? Because it's 220 US dollars. Yeah, look, got a little bit of flex. Yeah, they're really crappy props. Um, Look, I don't mind it. It's um, it's not the worst one I've seen. The motors really make this thing. Uh, that certainly gives that a little bit extra punch, and it's got a decent camera. So, uh, which is the run cam? Always like those. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, look, when we're setting up the uh, VTX on this thing, the uh, the display, the LED display, fell off. So we couldn't tell what channel we we're on. It was a bit of a pain in the ass. What do you would give it a grumpy Trev rating out of value wise? So for two hundred twenty dollars US dollars, what do you think of the the value of that? Oh, uh, value is probably about a seven. I don't think it's worth that much. What about a performance wise? What's performance it? wise, look, it's, it's up around an eight. It's pretty good there. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. I wouldn't rush out and buy one, but uh, call them awesome for something. I didn't think it was awesome. It wasn't crap, so, but it wasn't outstanding either. All right. Thanks, Trevor. All right, Cal, so you're the speed gun expert. How fast do you think the non-upgraded one's gonna go? 72. All right, and what about the upgraded one? Uh, I reckon this is gonna do about 84, 85. All right, let's go. Let's go figure it out. Let's give it a go. Whoa! Stop. Edit that one out. I dropped the camera. Drop the camera. <laughs> All righty. Did you drop the camera, Cal? Nope. Fifty one. Sixty two mile an hour. Hmm. Fifty four mile an hour. Sixty one mile an hour. Fifty nine. 62. Yeah, a bit gutless. All right, what did you think of that one, Cal? Um, yeah, as predicted. What's that? Slow. Okay. 
Okay guys, we're about to speed test the F200. It is the upgraded version. In theory, it should be faster, so let's see if it is. There we go. 63 mile an hour. 66 mile an hour. 66 mile an hour. All right, Cal, what about the upgraded version? What do you think about that one? Um, look, 220 bucks versus 150. Powertrain on this is exceptional, really. I, I think it's got great motors. The only thing that's letting it down a little bit are these props. I think we could have broken 70 mile an hour if we had some decent Dell props. Yeah, I definitely, I think those props are a bit, a bit terrible. What would you say, but what would you call those props, Trev? There you go, with better props maybe, they should start shipping them with better props. Alrighty, so there it is, there's my part two review with the F200, so the awesome versions, the base version, also the upgraded version. I guess if we talk about the upgraded version first, is it worth the money, 220 bucks? I would say, you know, Trevor's version there, it's got good motors, it's got a good FPV camera, I don't like, I don't really like the frame on either of these things, and I didn't like it how his VTX, the little LED display broke off, made it a nightmare trying to find out what channel are on, but is it worth $220? Yeah, that one's really hard to tell because look the motors are fantastic the camera I love run cam so I can see where the money is coming in But I do think there's better options out there as far as the base version goes And both of them have rubbish props as far as the base version goes I'm not a fan of this one whatsoever. It was really difficult to fly you guys heard and saw just how lackluster these motors are Really didn't have very much punch whatsoever. It kind of reminds me these look like the same motors that are on the TS-195. If you haven't seen that, we totally smashed that quad two pieces into a tree. But uh, this one, yeah, very lackluster. And the worst part, it was really difficult to see with the FPV camera that's in this bad boy. The lens was way too small and the field of view was way too small. You couldn't really even see where you were going. So I would say Trevor's one is better value even though it's more expensive than this one. This one is an absolute miss. Give this one a miss. Now, even though I'm not going to be flying this one, I am going to be giving away on my Patreon page, a bit of a shout out to those guys because I couldn't do the content on this channel without your support, so I'm really, really grateful for every single one of you guys in my Patreon family, so yeah, a massive thanks to you guys, we'll uh, see if we can get this out to one of you guys soon. Other than that, for everybody else, subscribe for more FPV related content, and as always, happy flying. Drop some comments down below too, what do you think about this train, pros, cons, what would you prefer to spend the money on, or do you, you know, is this sort of the quad that you might like? This is just like some bonus footage I wanted to include. This is like the stock default DVR straight from the FPV camera, so no OSD or anything like that on the base version. And just look how difficult it is to sort of see where you're going in the hairpins and try to keep line of the trees and all that sort of stuff as you're flying around. Very, very difficult to fly around with this field view. Anyway, happy flying. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.